हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम अश्विनी सौरभ मेहतरस फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स आर कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर सो आई एम टेकिंग टुडेज वीडियो फॉर बीएससी फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन द सब्जेक्ट स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो हियर द पेपर नंबर वन इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स फर्स्ट एंड यूनिट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स so as this subject is new to the bsc first year students i am going from its definition and meaning then we will study its importance in real life and some scope in real life situations so by this word statistics it is called as a sankhya shastra in marathi so statistics has been used from ancient days from very uh, previous days this subject is used for collection and presentation of data only but nowadays it is widely used for the analysis purpose so there are the many posts such as data scientist in statistics so this is the current situation and there is very wide use of statistics in every field so this world statistics has came from the italian world statista or the greek greek world statistica so this is some history of the subject so whenever there is a data there is a huge data then use of statistics becomes mandatory okay so when uh, there uh, there is a data means suppose we are interested in doing some experiment to find the uh, answer to any question then in that cases we got our data for example uh, for taking the result uh, calculating the result of students or uh, if we are having the industrial data we want the sale and profit type data so these these are the examples where the statistics can be used to analyze the data okay i have written the one definition of statistics which is given by horace sacris so this definition is by statistics we mean aggregates of facts affected to a marketed extent by multiplicity of causes numerically expressed enumerated or estimated according to reasonable standards of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other so this is the one definition of statistics uh, basically it may be called as it is applied applied mathematics okay and the father of statistics is professor ronald a fisher there are many indian statisticians also we will see in the uh, information of them in next lecture also and uh, so this is one definition of statistics so let's see the importance of statistics before that this definition can be amount as statistics is collection presentation analysis and interpretation of the given data okay uh, so firstly we collect the data uh, while doing the experiment so after doing experiment we have the lot of data after that we are going to present that data in various charts okay we can draw the uh, bar chart pie chart or histogram of that data also and uh, then the next step is analysis of data so this part analysis came in the field of statistics we do we do the analysis of given data and finally we are going to conclude the results okay so we will give final step is the interpretation of the data so this definition can be written as so in short it can be statistics is collection
प्रेजेंटेशन एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द गिवन डेटा सो दिस डेफिनेशन कैन ऑल्सो बी रिटर्न सो इट इज अ कलेक्शन प्रेजेंटेशन एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द गिवन डेटा सो देर इज अ मेनी इम्पॉर्टंट टर्म्स सच एज अ प्लैनिंग कंट्रोलिंग और एक्सप्लोरिंग द गिवन डेटा सो दीज टर्म्स आर ऑल्सो स्टडीड इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट which is importance of statistics so as i have told you that statistics where whenever there is a huge data the use of statistics becomes inevitable so we cannot avoid the use of statistics still in the computer field so uh, the computer can't replace a statistician okay so that much uh, this subject is needed in every field so what is the importance importance is whenever there is a huge data that data cannot be studied in a way so for to study the, the that data we have to condense that data so first importance is condense the data so we will uh, save our time money and the work we will condense that data then the next use is to predict the future values or we can say as a forecast the future values so not hear that statistics is the only science which forecast or which predicts the future values so next important point is prediction and we will do this prediction at some certainty level so uncertainties are reduced uh, while doing the analysis the next point is estimation and prediction so we can estimate the variables uh, or estimate the parameters of the given data by using statistics so this is estimation and prediction so we have a huge data and there is a, there is a less time to study it so we go for the technique that is sampling we do the sampling means we uh, go for take uh, we we take some a small amount of data that is sub part of the given population population means the data which is under study so we are going to take sub part or sub units from that data it is called as the sample and uh, we use the term sampling that is this is the tool of statistics which will study in the next unit so we are going for the sampling of given data and then uh, from that sample we will estimate the parameters of the given data so this is the importance of statistics so the next point is interrelation or we can compare the results so statistics is widely used for comparison purpose for example if we want to study the ssc board result and cbsc board result so these results can be compared by using the statistics so in many fields these are the importance of statistics so we can compare condense predict estimate the huge data so this is all about the importance of statistics in various fields so let's see the scope of statistics the next point
in the scope of statistics so we will see some fields in which statistics is used but i uh, as i have said earlier in every field the data is there and whenever there is a data there is a need of statistician so let's see some fields which are included in your syllabus so first is statistics in industry so there are many industries uh, and the statistics is used in it so how it is used i will uh, elaborate with uh, one example so if there is a uh, industry of making a pen or industry of making any electric bulb so in that uh, the production process is continuously going and someone needed to inspect that process so whether the, there may be any defective items and we have to inspect that whether that process is going smoothly or not that's why the production will be increased without any failure so in that cases the statistical tool statistical quality control is used in short it is written as sqc so this tool is widely used in the field of industry we also use the multiple regression for the purpose of prediction so i will write down here the statistical tools it is multiple regression so these are the examples of statistical tools and in industry it they are widely used okay so the uh, next field in which statistics is used is statistics and biological sciences so in biological sciences sir francis galton has used to find the heredity the he used many statistical tools to find the heredity or to study the heredity he also used statistics uh, for the uh, study of genetics also the scientist mendal has used statistics for the field of genetics and his result, his uh, results are now uh, nowadays are studied by using various statistical tests so in biological sciences there are many tools of statistics which are used i am writing down some tools they are demography so this is the widely used statistical tool and we can compute the mortality rate that is death rate or birth rate by using this demography tool so in biological sciences use of uh, use of statistics is from uh, is uh, statistics is used so the third field in which it is used is uh, statistics and agriculture so in agriculture field the design of experiment this statistical tool is widely used it is written as doe so it is design of experiments to study Uh, to study the uh, or to compare the various factors or to find the uh, interrelations between that factors and interaction effects also so we have many factors such as fertilizer or irrigation of the field so these types are there in agriculture and to uh, to 
compare the various plots in agriculture field we use the uh, we make use the field of or the tools of statistics there is also used multiple regression also time series also and uh, correlation this is the statistical tool which is used here also at agriculture point we have many fertilizers as a factors we have uh, uh, various type of land is there and we can cannot do the experiment in every field or every plot to increase the production of any crop so in that cases this tool design of experiment is widely used also in jungle to count the number of trees okay or number of animals or number of fishes in a lake in a uh, lake so this type of uh, collection or this type of numerical data can be collected using various statistical methods so the next that is the fourth field is the statistics in medical science nowadays in medical science various tools are used so uh, i will give one example so in current situation that is uh, in corona disease uh, various scientists are um, busy in finding the vaccine for this disease okay so while uh, giving this vaccine to any sample or they will take the sample of animals or sample of some patients so these type of samples are collected by using statistical tool that is sampling so this is the statistical tool we can also compare the various results okay various drugs and uh, various medicines can be compared using these tools so if we want to uh, compare the uh, cancer and uh, uh, smoking so we if we want the interrelation between them then we can use statistical test there are many tests such as t test or uh, z test are there to compare the results in medical sciences so the next point is to uh, statistics in economics so in economic field the use of statistics is uh, such as index number this is the statistical tool but widely used in the field of economics okay so if we want the relation between profit and sale or such type of results can be compared using the statistical tool index numbers so such as prices production income and uh, volume of import so these are some economical terms and there we can study the data by using statistical tools and techniques so estimation of national income this is the point in economics but but for that estimation we we can use the statistical tools for example the relation between prices and supply or the relation between profit and supply okay so these can be studied by using statistics also the time series this tools this tool is also there in economics but it is a statistical tool but used in economics to study and the next point is statistics and social sciences so it is the sixth so in so 
social sciences we we may be interested in finding some relations such as educations education and gender ratio or education and marriage adjustment score so these type of results may be compared by using various statistical tools and there are many tests okay such as a chi square test which can be used to compare the various factors in a social sciences the next point is statistics and management science so in management sciences there is a uh, there is production of uh, various uh, goods okay or uh, we can find out the tools in statistics for to forecast the data so there is cpm pert these are some statistical tools which are widely used in the field of management sciences so there is a marketing and production this term is included in mark, uh, management science where we use the tools such as cpm pert or sequencing problem so these are some statistical tools which are used in management sciences also the regression method which is widely used in these sciences the next is statistics and insurance while making the policies we need the use of statistical tools so in insurance that is some lic policies so this is just for example while making these policies we need the statistics because there is a relation between age and mortality rate so up to the age of 20 to 40 the death rate is uh, increases slowly but after the age of 40 the death rate increases rapidly so these terms should be considered while making any policy or uh, giving any premium so uh, average premium this equals the average claims plus some business charges so these type of formulas and these type of policies can be uh, made and uh, it uses the uh, uses the tool statistics such as a life table so this is the statistical tool and these are all tools which i am writing to that side they are included in your syllabus for the further studies so it is just a requirement that for each field you should know the statistical tool okay this is all about the statistics and insurance the next point is statistics and psychology so in psychology we need to study the productivity and emotional quotient or the productivity and intelligence so in that cases many statistical tools becomes essential such as cluster analysis or factor analysis so these type of tools are required to study statistics in psychology that is we want to study the if we want to study the productivity so this is the use in psychology the next is statistics and education so in education field 
there is a subject statistics is included in almost every course that is if you go for a, any commerce or arts course there is a, a one paper which is of statistics so uh, for education there are many terms such as regression factor analysis cluster analysis or design of experiments so these all tools are included in education and while studying the research in any field so while doing research in any field or every field we need some statistics there so one paper of statistics is included in every uh, almost every course okay so this is the uh, use in education also i have told you one example that if we want to compare the result of ssc board and uh, result of cbsc board or the result of arts faculty and result of science faculty so the uh, the statistical tools such a, for comparison of such a cases is widely used in the field of education and the last point in the scope of statistics is statistics and computer sciences so as i told earlier that any computer can't replace statistician okay so whether there are many uh, data scientists and they use the statistical tools still the this subject can't be replaced by any computer so there are many tools of statistics are there to make the uh, uh, kind of softwares which uh, which is which are used by the data scientists so i am giving some examples of softwares which are developed they are r so this is the r language and it is very famous language it it is totally statistical software then python sas cstat spss also the excel microsoft excel uses various statistical tools in the data analysis folder okay so you can go to there and check that folder so these are some softwares which i have written here which are developed in a statistical uh, developed on statistical tools so this is the use of statistics in computer sciences so in today's lecture we have taken the definition of statistics uh, yes it is a uh, collection presentation analysis and interpretation of data in short we can write this definition also then we have seen some importance of statistics in various fields that is uh, we can uh, compare various result predict estimate and etc and finally i have taken the point that is the scope of statistics in some fields so many fields are covered in this lecture and i have taken uh, shortly uh, the use of statistics in various fields note that it is used widely all over the world okay so in next lecture we will uh, we will see some uh, organizations in india and uh, the scientists of india who are famous in statistics hope you enjoyed my lecture we'll see in my next lecture thank you